in a multinational company, once the board in New York, they were one shot, one board member shot. So they decided to go on a um, PR drive and they said, we will appoint the longest serving employee as a member of our board. And that longest serving employee happened to be a clerk in a remote factory in India. And when they went, the chairman of the company went, the managing director of the Indian thing went to him and said, congratulations, you are now a member of our board. He looked most unenthusiastic. So after some time, he went to his boss and said, boss, what's happening? Don't do this to me. I have worked so loyally for the company and I am about to retire in the next three months. I have responsibilities, I have to get my daughter married, so on and so forth. Why are you doing this to me? So his boss said, do you understand what, what you've got? You're going to be a member of the board in New York. He says, and you'll get so much with these perks, you'll get, you'll get this, that and the other. And in addition to everything else, you'll get 2% commission on net profit. So he didn't understand net profit, what it is, he didn't know. Two, but he only understood the two. So he looks at the boss and says, please boss, do me one favor. No? <laughs> in addition to all of this, please retain my salary of 3000 rupees a month. What is 3,000 rupees compared to 2% of net profit worldwide? But he couldn't understand. So therefore, he's not willing to let go of this. That is why in the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, he actually quantifies what is the happiness that you will get on realization. I don't want to go into that. But it doesn't work. Even after studying all that, reading all that, you go back and say, I want my car. It's like that clerk saying, I want my 3,000 rupees. So anyway, this is the vision that we are talking about. You know, it's like a billionaire once offered a scientist a huge corpus. And that scientist happened to be from a remote African uh, country and did not know English properly. So when that uh, billionaire offered him a corpus, he quickly said, no, I don't want. You know what he thought? Cops. <laughs> so he rejected it. Similarly, friends, we are rejecting the spiritual. However much we advertise, however much we tell people to come, still half-hearted attempts. Because you don't understand.